Almost a billion miles from Earth, Saturn's moon Enceladus circles through the planet's pale rings. It's tiny, no bigger than England, coated in brilliant white ice. Through a telescope, it looks frozen and airless, until you see what Cassini saw. In 2005, the spacecraft passed close to the moon's south pole and found fountains of vapor jetting into space. They weren't single bursts, they were constant. Sensors registered heat far above what sunlight could create, and the plumes carried salt and ice crystals moving at hundreds of meters per second. The only source for that energy was deep inside the moon. Beneath the crust lies a global ocean. At its rocky floor, water reacts with minerals and releases hydrogen, methane, and organic compounds. The same ingredients that sustain microbes around hydrothermal vents on Earth. When Cassini flew through those plumes again in 2015, it detected those very molecules, still warm when they struck its instruments. That discovery reshaped the search for life. Enceladus isn't just wet, it's chemically active. Everything required for biology, liquid water, energy, and carbon chemistry, exists in the same place. Scientists can't yet say whether life is actually there, but the conditions match the ones that made it possible here. New spacecraft are being designed to return, to sample the vapor as it erupts and look for molecular patterns that only living cells create. Until then, Enceladus keeps venting into space, silent evidence that something dynamic, maybe even alive, is happening under the ice. For now, Enceladus keeps releasing its breath into space, steady, warm, and far too organized to ignore.